Hello, and welcome to the Stanley Parable. I'm sorry about your regular cave story, but the video file I recorded for episodes 4 to 6, which finally had sound, by the way, was corrupted. So we're going to try this for a change. And Stanley Parable is probably one of the oddest games I've come across. And if you've seen any gameplay of it, I'm sure you'll agree. Either way, we're going to play through for a little bit, I think. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Well, it looks like everyone's missing. Let's go off and find them. For the first time, I think we'll run through, like, proper way, like, no disobeying commands or anything. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. It'll be a straightforward run through, and then we can start doing more. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Rebellious Stanley decided options. to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Yes, this doesn't seem like a normal office, does it? Lots of buzzwords. Um, that's certainly not normal. Room closet. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there yeah. was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Are you sure? Because it looks like there's some duct tape that almost looked like a uranium symbol. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh, well, we're gonna go face the big man, I guess. Executive bathroom. Oh, guess it's locked. Oh well. Over there, no. No one here either. Stepping into his manager's really office, nice office, Stanley though. was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked. Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. Oh. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, yep. Stanley happened to input the correct code by I wonder if it's maybe because we've got an error. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Oh, pretty dark in here. Sort of feels like portal, doesn't it? All these empty rooms, all these elevators. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Okay. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question know. would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Well, the narrator did say go ahead, so maybe escape can wait. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Oh my goodness. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Well, let's find out. Now the monitors oh. jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. 
stand his co-workers. The lives now, we of were so many individuals right? reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. I guess the numbers aren't coming back. Oh well. Oh wait. No, maybe not. This mind control facility, Four, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Yeah, that's our office Was this there. the only reason he was happy it. with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's Boy, control? Pirate. Never. Nice. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Well, I he mean... truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, okay. working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Well, I guess that's where we have to go. Mind control stats are fine. Well... This is certainly very super villainy, isn't it? System power off or on. Hmm. Oh. Well then. Um. Oh wait, there's specks of light. I'm not sure if you can see them. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Um. You're okay. It over? Is it? Yes! He had won! Oh. He had defeated the machine! Unshackled himself from someone else's command! Freedom was mere moments away! It is? And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected Ooh. on how many puzzles still lay. Stanley stepped through the open door. Well, I would, but it's not exactly Stanley there. We felt go. The cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. Okay. And Stanley was happy. And that was the Stanley parable, or at least one aspect of it. So, if this is going to do it right, we will appear back in the office and we can start wrecking shit. Okay. Oh man. There's a phone going off. Hi Stanley! I uh, just wanted to leave you a message to let you know there's a few things I need you to pick up on your way home from work today. We need milk, cereal, dish but soap, I'm spaghetti, get a thing of sugar, some bread, and coffee beans, whichever ones you like. I'll give you a call if there's anything I forgot. Thanks, sweetie. See you tonight. That's not my phone, though. Um, hmm. I guess that, that wasn't there last time, right? When Stanley came to a set of two open... This was not the correct way to the meeting no, room, it's and not. Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Sure, why not? Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few Cold moments here drinks. in this immaculate, one, one beautifully constructed room. Hmm, Stanley simply cans? stood here, drinking it all in. I think I still know some vending machines that sell them for 50 cents, so but maybe not. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nah. 
Nah. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Hmm. Now I could fall down there, but that would probably result in my death. That can't be opened. So, let's go on here. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. You I are? realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Oh, that's There's someone nice. someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. For her? This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's mm. been waiting. Love interest. That might be interesting. Hmm. That's her, Stanley. You uh -oh. need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. This is starting to get creepy. Um. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. That sounds like All the same right. uh, voice from the phone call. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make oh, a point that's here, harsh. Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Um, I'm not sure I want Sorry, to. Sorry, but you're in my uh, story now. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Oh, no. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him. And every button oh, that no. he pushes oh, no. is a reminder oh, no. of the inconsequential nature of his existence. I don't like this now. Look at him there, pushing buttons, ah. doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel okay. sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Um. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, I don't Stanley like this. dreamed of wild expeditions into the I don't world. like this. Let me out. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. Let and each day that He's he returned to work, stupid was a get... that none of it would ever happen to him. And so he began uh, to uh, about his own I job. TV. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his Let desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. So, he went oh. further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions I don't like would you, mean narrator. something was almost too wonderful You're to You're too behold. creepy. As he wandered through ah! the fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible well. paths and destinations. <laughs> Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his oh head, he relived it again and then again and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. But there is no... Ah! How could there possibly be? 
In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets, the more he forgets which life is the real one. Yes, please and go I'm trying to... No. Tell him this, that in this world, he uh. can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Well, I obviously can't do that now, can I? Because you're just going to keep going until... You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll we'll see. You're evil, twisted maybe bastard. Time. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed uh. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried... Okay. Um, I... Oh, my goodness. That was a bit creepy. Um, hmm. Maybe we'll just keep Stanley trying him. Stanley had never him. seen the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? He hoped it was. He hoped very much that it was. Okay, good. When Stanley came to a set of two open... This was not the correct way to the meeting okay, room. Okay, I'm just Stanley going to fire you all well. the way. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Okay, skip through wow. this. We've already yes, heard this. This room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Screw you. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off okay. on the wrong foot here. We need to sure get on that catwalk and I realize that investing in your trust escape. in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been... What? Really? I was in the yes, middle of really. something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? What? Yes. I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. To show you something... How beautiful. come I don't believe you? It might be because of the thing that happened last time. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. No. Aha. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. No. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked... All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed okay. developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Yeah. Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You give me absolutely nothing so far. I would Tonight. rather not have a the narrator that you tries to kill you can give me. me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Oh, wait, we were going to defy him, weren't we? Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. 
Oh, of course. A three. Really. Maybe next time we can get you to form an actual opinion, you know? Any level of critical thinking or engagement with your surroundings? Does that sound good? Think we can uh -oh. do that? Yes? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through Okay, if it makes you Again, shut up. Honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Um, Let me boot it up. In this oh game, no. the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to play this for four hours. You heartless bastard. Yeah, you well, because you hate babies, look who's I'm talking. Despite me. Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. Okay. What do we have here? <laughs> yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Uh, okay. Um, I guess we're not done yet. What's he gonna get us to do now? Oh. Well, Stanley, hey, is this any better? Minecraft. At last, the one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Um, but I can't, then, I can't really will jump. Will ever be enough? Well, I'll say this. I don't have a tool there either. I can't. You. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um. This will go here, no, here, and then let's see what does it need. I uh, yes, of course, and just to finish it all off, yes, it's complete. Yay. I made the standing. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel I ashamed guess. at your own inadequacy. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. Um... Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, 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 yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Okay. I sort of wish I really could jump, so I don't feel like I'm dropping myself. Oh my, it looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? No. Uh -oh. No, 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 this is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. I just something heard an Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all, one out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. Okay. 
wonder what he's got in mind this time. Oh, I know what this is. <laughs> yes, Portal. I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, trapped in a glass box with no way oh. out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I um. couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. I can actually look for the radio, the though, so... Huh. Oh, it's a puzzle. Okay. Critical thinking, Stanley. Your forte. Let's get this out. Let's Jeez. get out here quickly. No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble. Um... Hello? Okay. I think I'm dead here. No? Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Um. Starting to get creepy now. Again. Did I actually wreck it? I don't think I would have been able to. Oh, there's a light. Oh, it's 427 again. Okay, so I don't think there's any way to get out of this. Oh. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. Okay. I can wait. Um... Is it... Okay. So, that was the Stanley parable. Um... As you can see, it's very... Interesting. Um, I think you should probably check it out. Even if, like, once you get through all the paths, then it's pretty much done. I mean, there has to be a finite number of paths. In any case, I think I'll just get back to my desk. And good night.